So we continue with uh, question 64, fight 2 of pediatrics. 13 year old get complaints of having temperature rise and so on, per periodical skin rise. Anyway, examination reviews steady enhancing of exercise with LE cells. Uh, LE cells, I just translate in my mind to mean lupus erythematosus cells. So what is the most probable diagnosis? And anywhere you see LE cells, or oh, butterfly rash, the answer is lupus erythematosus. Right, you see, one year old. I'm reading through the question. They said the child has been diagnosed with celiac disease and administered gluten free diet. What is to be explained from reaction? The question is indirectly asking us which of these diets contains gluten, and that is wheat and oats, cereals, wheat and oats contains gluten. We excluded. Okay, we've spoken about something like this a child with bronchial asthma having hypersensitivity to popular sit-offs, feed apps, what recommendations should be given is again when they are telling us exactly what the patient is having allergy to try to desensitize this patient. So this is specific hyposensitization, almost the same thing, specific hyposensitization. Nine months old child, fever, cough, dyspnea, respiratory pathology, five days guy contact with person having acute uh, respiratory uh, viral infection. You can see the temperature, sinus of nasolabial triangle is present. Tachypnea, tachypnea is very important for diagnosis of uh, pneumonia, but we cannot say this pneumonia exactly. But they said there was percussion dullness. Don't forget that dullness is only going to be uh, gotten when we have a restrictive disease, a restrictive uh, disease and the major restrictive disease in this case is this acute pneumonia so don't go for this ARV just because of this second line so the child is having percussion you see there's dullness on percussion is pneumonia that will give you that or any process in the lung that is causing consolida consolidation in the lung tissues as quotation if it's bilateral fine most stress is only pneumonia that will do this among these options all these other ones can give us they give us diffuse rays not on one particular area Diffuse. All right. Anyway, this question, the answer we are going to choose is, for me, I feel it's relevant just only as far as clock is concerned because bronchography has been replaced by uh, CT scan and bronchoscopy. So yes, eight-year-old child who is uh, say at the age of one and eight months fell ill with a pneumonia that had protected cause. Later, there's occurrences about five to six times a year. What examination will be the most important for making a final diagnosis? You see, this is not one of those questions where you choose the chest x ray, that is, this retinal of, of thorax organs. Because already we know it's pneumonia, we know that's what the patient is having. So, since it's recurrent, we need to now consider the, the airways and so on. And that is why when you see this kind of question in clock, please still go ahead with uh bronchography bronchography normally it's not the best option because bronchography has is is becoming obsolete also but as far as clock is concerned it's still the right answer anyway we don't know which questions they remove from clock maybe that's why people at least call but <laughs> so bronchography A mother of five year old get consulted a doctor about daughter's involuntary urination at night. You see, nightmares, sleep disorders, slow gaining of body weight, liver is in line. Her mother suffers from cholelithiasis. This is what they, they mean cholelithiasis. Eh? Of course, cholelithiasis, they want us to think of uh, stones. They want us to think of stones. What type of diathesis is the most probable in the child's case? I really don't see the link between the mother suffering from cholelithiasis and child having nightmares and sleep disorders. Anyway, as far as this question is concerned, let's just take this cholelithiasis in the mother and try to look at what it could be, and that is gouty diathesis. Gouty diathesis. Gouty diathesis. I always think before that this should be uric acid diathesis until the day I discover that this is not uric acid, this is urine. <laughs> 
So the answer is gratitude. Gratitude. A ten-year-old girl complains about abdominal pain that is arising and getting worse after eating and so on. So tongue is moist with white deposit on the road, that mess up painful in because this, the question is what studies should we undergo when we are as, as suspecting um, reflux or and so on. Is it's if I go gas to do no scoping. Side reputation, heart bone, and so on, constipation. This kind of patient needs a sphagal gas to do the What condition do you differentiate sepsis from? That is uh, hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia has typical, like, uh, similar presentations as sepsis. And so that's the question. You can see CNS depression, you can have that in hypoglycemia. Dyspepsia, you can have that in hypoglycemia. Hyperstasia, so it's hypoglycemia. All right, our our very favorite Nikoski symptom, positive Nikoski symptom. So, what is the most likely diagnosis in this case when we have a six-day-old infant? You see, flaccid bubbles, irritated surface, cracks, spilling of the epidermis, looking like scalded with boiling water. Again, looking like scalded simply means they are telling us that this is uh, Staphylococcus scalded skin syndrome. And we said that that is what is going to cause the retus exfoliative dermatitis. Exfoliative dermatitis is the same as uh, Staphylococcus scattered skin syndrome. So, I'm sure we've gotten that. This is a child with men meningococcemia. You see? You can see the temperature, voluminous body crash, and diagnosis with meningococ meningococcosis. Infectious toxic shock. We already spoke about the treatment of this. You read the battle. We started together with prednisolone. That is clanfenicol plus prednisolone. So they asked us what antibiotic. They are not enough for the old treatment. Now what antibiotic? So that's clanfenicol. Another need for chloramphenicol is levomycetin. And so that is soluble levomycetin succinate. That's just the name of the preparation. Ten-year-old boy suffers from chronic viral hepatitis B with maximal activity. What laboratory tests can give the most precise classic of cytolysis degree? Again, when you're talking about cytolysis and you're talking about hepatitis, you're talking about liver, you want to check for the level of the transaminases, the alerts and the assets. So transaminase test. Six-year-old complaints of thirst, polyuria, uh, increased appetite for two months with weight loss for three kg. So Already we have the diabetes that is type 1. So by what mechanism does type 1 diabetes develop? This is the body producing uh, autoantibodies against its own tissues to destroy it. So this is an autoimmune condition. Diabetes type 1 is autoimmune condition. The question is why does the body decide to fight itself? I think sometimes we fight ourselves, but why does that happen? So we can can figure out why you fight with yourself you can figure out why your cells are fighting uh, one another 10 year old child who is at uh, oligo aneric stage of acute renal insufficiency has got sensation of pricking in the mucous member of oral cavity and tongue you can see they have reduced reflexes respiratory distress arrhythmia i really like the fact that they put arrhythmia in this question to help me to quickly think of the fact that one thing that can be causing arrhythmia in this case has to do with potassium and there is no hypokalemia here so the correct answer is hyperkalemia so hyperkalemia can cause arrhythmia respiratory disturbance reduce reflexes uh, and so on and insufficiency again we've talked about what they really like so if you have diffuse thyroid enlargement of second degree thinness of the heart rate of 64 bradycardia almost bradycardia constipation and anemia you see you already seen signs of hypothyroidism what disease might have caused such in such early age is autoimmune thyroiditis okay eight year old girl has been admitted to the cardiology department objective objectively there is a skin lesion over the extensor surface of germ with atrophic cicatrices the pigmentation semantic affection of Skeletal muscles. This is all about muscles and skin, muscles and skin, and that's one way to know that it is um, dermatomyositis. You can see skin, right? Two and so if it's all about muscle and skin, 
it is dermatomyositis. Dermatomyositis. Rita's disease, another name for Rita's disease is reactive arthritis. See, patients have maybe history of a urogenital infection and then thereafter their arthritis developing or joint pain, or that that's been Rita's. Systemic lupus, we know how to find that. Scleroderma, we know how to find that too. Dose of uh, injection of insulin in an, av in an average patient is uh, 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 units per kg. Anywhere you see this question in clock, this is always the right answer. 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 units per kg of body weight per hour. I won't really say per hour though because it's not like they give it every hour. But that's what we have in the option. A 12 year old girl undergoes regular gastroenterological check up for duodenal ulcer biliary dyskinesia. What is the recommended frequency of anti relapse treatment? We are being told that it is twice a year, that is every six months, twice a year, patient biliary dyskinesia. 13 year old teenager who suffers from uh, hemophilia A was taken to the hospital after a fight at school. You know, we spoke about the difference between giving uh, cryo precipitate and giving fresh frozen plasma in uh, internal medicine or surgery or so. His diagnosis is right sided hematosis of joint. The question is what should be primarily prescribed? If a patient is having bleeding and is due to hemophilia A, we should transfuse the factor. Which of these options contains the factor? Fresh frozen plasma. All right, we have a three month old child at you see at the age of this. Let's take note of that age, and then on the third day, um, there's, there's fever on percussion, tympanic sound above lung and auscultation. A lot of fine most rails and wheezing during the expression. You see, they are not telling us a specific localization, so you cannot talk about pneumonia in this case. But so, but at the age of three, um, three months, it's, it's very common to have bronchiolitis causing being the source of fine most rays over the lungs. So that is acute respiratory viral infection due to uh, that causing bronchiolitis. Please take note of that. Bronchiolitis, bronchiolitis, not bronchitis, bronchiolitis. All right. On the first day of life, a, a full-time girl, second labor weighing 3,500 with a gas of eight presented with jaundice. In diabetes of blood, you can see 80, six hours later, Elevated, what is the optimal treatment? You see, when they are telling us of hyperbilirubinemia and everything in clock, they want us to choose replacement blood transfusion or exchange blood transfusion. Don't bother about phototherapy, so exchange blood transfusion will continue immediately thereafter.